Welcome to this lecture on verifiably secure infrastructure. So one aspect of um, verifiably secure infrastructure is uh, third party audits, certifications and attestations. Here we can see that Oracle has uh, multiple certification and, and attestations in this uh, regard. ISO 27001, SOC 1, SOC 2, SOC 3, PCI DD, DSS attestation of compliance. So we can see that Oracle is uh, continuously investing time and resources uh, to meet customers' strict requirement for all internal control over financial reporting and data protection across a variety of highly regulated industries. So here are some additional certifications and attestations. So HIPAA attestation is there for multiple services, uh, strong security control to meet GDPR requirement. And there's a complete list of compliance certification and attestation, and you can visit this URL to find that comprehensive list. So here we can see the security capabilities that can be used to build and run a GDPR compliant applications on OCI. So this, this includes data breach notifications within 24 hours if there are any, customer's data stays in the home region that they choose, audit service logs and all calls to, all calls to the API, uh, compartment, VCN and tagging, different storage services for keeping accurate copies of customer data and multiple levels of authentication and authorization for integrity and confidentiality. So what about physical security? Oracle Cloud Infrastructure has tier 4 class facilities in both US and Europe. There is redundancy for power sources in case of any kind of failure or breakdown. And there are multiple layers of physical security, such as smart card-based smart card authentication, least privileged access, uh, video surveillance, uh, perimeter barrier, and isolated security zones around servers and networking rack. In terms of personal security, there is pre-employment screening, um, training, and other aspects of personal security that come into play for a verifiable, verifiably secure infrastructure. And here's a list of all the certification to meet compliance requirements for all regions and all services. So in, so in summary, some of the basic security con considerations include keeping the software up to date, uh, limiting privileges for groups and users to give access only to resources that are required by a specific user or group, uh, monitor the system activity, uh, and you can learn more about Oracle Cloud uh, infrastructure security features by visiting oracle.com and then keep up to date on security information. So Oracle regularly issues security related patches and updates, and these can be installed and be complied with by visiting the URL. 